This report is unique of its kind because it provides a very detailed review of the determinant of the obesity epidemic and also the strategy to tackle the epidemic. It is a collaborative work of 17 international experts and it's based on the latest scientific evidence. Energy intake and exceeding energy expenditure is the main driver of weight gain. So the amount of calories which is ingested through food and drinks is a major factor. The quality of the diet is also important because it affects energy balance through different hormonal and neurological pathway and influence society. So a diet which is rich in industrial processed food, carbohydrates, and uh, added sugar would be very obesogenic, while uh, a diet which is rich in vegetables, fruit, healthy oils and uh, nuts and fish and poultry to replace meat uh, would be associated with a lower risk of obesity and weight gain. Physical activity is certainly uh, very healthy, however, it has only a minor effect on uh, weight maintenance and uh, weight loss and should be associated with a restricted caloric intake. Uh, with regard with the genetics and the microbiota, they can affect the individual risk response uh, to diet and physical activity but cannot explain what we are seeing in terms of the obesity currently. The report also stress uh, the importance of the food environment and healthy food marketing and the uh, adverse effect of urbanization which affect uh, the determinant of obesity. In reviewing the different determinants of uh, the obesity epidemic and the different policy options, it provides uh, necessary information for the government to implement a strategy to control the epidemic. And it also emphasizes the importance of the epidemic uh, among children. We have now quite a good news because uh, with a multi-sectorial approach, the evidence shows that the epidemic can be arrested or even reversed, in particular in children, so it's quite promising.